Hi everyone, welcome back to my page. Today I wanted to discuss a topic that I always continuously mention in my videos. It's kind of the basis of you going through your personal development journey. Is the first kind of step you take um, to set the tone of how people should treat you and who you are as a person, and that's boundaries. So where I speak about boundaries all the time, I want to do this video like a refresher to remind you guys because I do have a few videos on boundaries that I've put out before but I feel like we just need to kind of polish our boundaries and really figure out and understand how to set healthy boundaries and maintain them because that's the other hard part it's all good and great recognizing your boundaries but if you can't um, apply them and maintain them then they're really no good to you if you haven't been to my page, welcome, I'm Hamasa. I look at personal development as well as mental and emotional well-being and day-to-day -day issues. Thank you so much for those who have shown me support so far. And if you haven't subscribed to my page, please do so, so that you're up to date with all my weekly content where I cover a various of topics. And if you have suggestions, do write them in the comments below. So first and foremost, we need to really define what are boundaries. And boundaries are limits. They literally are a set of limits that varies for every single individual. The same way that our pain tolerance is different, the same way that our appetites are different. My limit of being full will be very different to your limit of being full. It's the same way that these, but that's why when people are sometimes ask me, what's like, how, what are my boundaries or how do I set them? Because they're so unique and so catered to an individual and to you, I wouldn't be able to tell you guys what your boundaries should be or are. I can only kind of help you recognize them. But because they're a set of limits, they're very, very unique to you personally. And don't let anyone, don't let anyone ever tell you that your boundaries are wrong because your limit isn't the same as theirs. Their life journey and experiences isn't the same as yours. Therefore, the limits will vary. And just because something is your boundary is not universal and fit all fits all so it doesn't mean that your limits are and boundaries are wrong that's one of the things that when you start, first start setting uh, boundaries with people in other words limits people dislike that because it's a change and when it's a change they will try and make you feel bad for it as if this new found boundary of yours is wrong so that's not the case is just a set of limits of things that you like and dislike and you don't always know what they are so that's why your limits and boundaries will always continuously change and evolve as we get older and as we grow up our limits and boundaries and things will change naturally so understanding that they will there are things that you may have been okay with before in the past that you may not be anymore is normal it doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you or you're going to against your own boundary. It just means that you've adapted and changed. So whatever feels good for you, whatever is your comfortable limit, that is your boundary. For example, I used to want to go out with my friends every weekend and my limit and boundary was that whenever they invited me out, I'd be out. But he wouldn't catch me dead being out every weekend now. Um, although my life seems like I'm always out and about on my social media, I'm actually not that much out and about. I go into an event or I go have dinner and then I'm back straight home because I just don't have it in me. And so I couldn't think of anything worse than to be out every single weekend. So that limit and boundary has changed for me as I've grown up. This is the same with yours. So understanding your limits and what they are is the first stage of setting boundaries. So you need to have a conversation with yourself and see what you're okay with and what you're not okay with. And certain things, you just have a gut instinct and you know and you feel. For example, hanging out in a room where there is a bear, gut instinct tells you that's dangerous. You don't necessarily have to experience that for you to have an understanding that this thing is dangerous. You don't need to put yourself in that position. But some other things you may want to experience just to see if it's something you like or not. And once you've experienced it, you can tell that this is beyond your boundary, beyond your limit, is something that you're not comfortable with. But make sure that that fear also doesn't stop you from experiencing things because you feel like, oh no, my God, oh, I feel like this is not gonna be for me. Certain things, if the opportunity permits, 
given the circumstances, given the context, you should try and put yourself out there and see if it's something you do like. And that's the way to figure out your boundaries and recognize your limits. Test yourself, put yourself out there, push yourself to do things that you wouldn't normally do. And it's like that way you understand your likes and dislikes and what you're okay with and will accept and what you will not be accepting or tolerating from people, situations, jobs, anything like that. The next step is to be able to clearly articulate and make sense of those boundaries because a lot of boundaries is kind of a gut feeling like something makes us feel uncomfortable and makes us feel angry and makes us feel upset and agitated and irritated and we're dwelling on that so the so we may not be able to verbalize that per se like a friend does something silly or they cross a boundary of yours and you know it feels bad it doesn't feel good for you and you feel uncomfortable but at the same time you don't really know how to articulate that or what it is exactly that's triggered you so once you understand things that you like and dislike a good way of being able to articulate that is either to speak to someone about it and express because let's say when you go on a dating site an app you kind of know what you're looking for and your limits and boundaries for what you're looking for in a partner so you could talk Pick up the phone and call a girlfriend and tell them, you know, I don't want him to, I don't know, be a gym head or I don't want him to be a big party person. Like those are your boundaries and limits and speaking them out makes, creates them and puts them into existence and you're setting the tone. And if you can't do that with someone and can't tell a friend about it because there might be other boundaries and limits, not necessarily in regards to dating that may be more private or personal to you, then write them down. By writing them down, you're articulating them and kind of trying to put it into words and verbalizing them. Because then that's the way for you to go to the next step, which is to communicate your boundaries. Because understanding that feeling to communicating it to the person takes some sort of interpretation on your behalf. And that's where the articulation comes from. You need to kind of interpret those emotions and feelings that you attach to things and people that trigger you and see where or what is your boundary or what is your limitation. Is it the tone of voice they spoke to you? Is it the, the things that they said? Is it their actions? Is it how it was delivered? Was it because it was in front of people? What part of that has crossed your limit that you feel uncomfortable with? So being able to understand and articulate that will make it easier for you to communicate that to the person or the situation or the job or whatever that context is for you a lot more easier because you have now wrapped your head around the situation and have verbalized it and made sense of it. Which brings me to my next point, like I said, is communication of your boundaries. So it's sticking by them, it's maintaining them, and it's speaking up when you're triggered and you're crossed. This may seem like the hardest part of recognizing, understanding, and setting your boundaries, the communication part. But like I said, the, the minute that you start articulating and understanding your boundaries, and when you know it well, it becomes a lot easier to communicate that to people when it's crossed because you're sure of it. You know it, you know, you can stand behind it and back it. One thing about boundaries is that when something, for example, if you're being offered, I don't know, meat and you're a vegan or a vegetarian and you know that you don't eat meat, you very confidently say, no, thank you, I'm a vegetarian you're sure of that there is no confusion about that and so you stand behind that that's the same with your boundaries so if you don't want to do something and you know it and you're sure of it you can very comfortably say no one thing you need to remember is that you never have to explain justify or give too many reasons for why something is a yes or something is a no you don't owe people that if that is your boundary and you feel the need to say no or you don't want to join that person going there doing that because you've got other things on, that's all it takes. You don't need to over explain that this happened and that happened and I double booked and I didn't look at my schedule and I'm very stressed out. I'm, you know, terribly sorry. Of course, apologize that you can't join them or that, you know, you thought you were able to and you're unable to now. But just be like, I'll make it up to you, but I'm just not, I, something has come up and I've got things on. 
you don't need to justify that. Sometimes people need you to join them for things just for their own validation, but understanding that that's not really your responsibility just takes that weight off you and makes it easier to then say no and not feel guilty and bad for it. So it's just all it is, knowing that boundary and being able to very politely communicate it. And like I said, people can't invalidate your limits and your boundaries because everybody's is different. So as long as you can just politely say no, not over explain, don't feel bad for it. Um, I have another video that I talk about how to maintain that boundary and how to communicate it clearly and that might help you guys. Um, then that's all it takes. And then once you've done that, understand that there'll be some hostility from certain people because nobody likes a change. And if they've got away with taking advantage of you for all this time, the minute you change that and you set your boundary, they're not gonna like it because they're not getting it their way with you. And that's okay. People who really love and respect you and understand you and support you, in due time, adjust to that boundary and accept it and kind of move on. But people who were only there because it was beneficial for them, then they're the ones who will throw fast and probably won't accept it but then you've done yourself a favor and kind of swift through the weeds and found the people that are really valuable and appreciate you for who you are, not the things that you could do for them. So either way, it's a win for you. The next thing is to recognize when these boundaries are being crossed and you are not, not just other people crossing it, but yourself. You're not maintaining your own boundaries and you kind of become lack with them. Adjusting and compromising with boundaries is very normal as long as it doesn't go against who we are, our beliefs, our morals and values and fundamentals. Little things could very easily be compromised on. But when it's big things and you're kind of saying, oh, it's just the ones, it's okay, I let this one go, then that's when lines become blurred and these boundaries get pushed back and you won't be able to maintain them because you are becoming too lenient and not kind of holding yourself responsible and accountable, let alone other people. Mm -hmm. So when other people are crossing your boundaries, you have to have that same mentality that you would with yourself, which is I'm not allowing, you know, why am I okay with this? I know I'm not, I'm being soft and I need to stand up for what I really believe in. And you should also be able to recognize when that happens from other people. So understanding when is a good time to compromise on certain boundaries for certain situations and when is a good time to kind of see that you've been too relaxed and allowed your boundaries to be all over the place is important because then otherwise we're not setting ourselves up for disappointment. We're aware of it and we're picking and choosing moving forward and understanding that sometimes boundaries do need to be adjusted as long as they don't go through against our fundamentals morals and values and overall this is kind of the idea of boundaries um, of how to recognize them knowing your limits communicating them um, knowing yourself well and not being a pushover and standing up for things that really make you feel uncomfortable and don't feel good for you um, there's nothing wrong with that like I said people who get offended were never meant to be in your life in the first place and people who love you will not be offended by your new healthier way of living for yourself and for the people around you. If you found this helpful, please do subscribe to my page. Please like and comment on this video and I'll see you guys again here soon. Thank you for watching. Mwah.